Guys, welcome to another video. I'll get some sun with Paz. Are you thinking of coming to Tenerife? Are you thinking of staying in the hotel La Siesta? Four star hotel. Now you're wondering what's around it. Well, come with me. Let's take a walk and find out. <laughs> So guys welcome to today's vlog this is uh basically just to show you what's around the hotel so guys if you go immediately opposite the hotel there's a street by santiago park one and that takes you down to the front by the beaches and that and if you go left on the beach you go towards los cristianos and if you head towards the right you go to a decky so what we're going to do is have a walk to the right hand side of the hotel because there's nothing really to the left unless you want to get to the golden mile i'm sure you all know what the golden mile is um it's literally 200 meters walk away from the golden mile from la siesta so guys if you're going to go, we're going to go right outside the hotel and if you go right the first thing you come to is the city center um central commercial have a look at this guys so this is the city center central commercial which is basically a shopping area it's got lots of um little bars restaurants tattoo shops music shops there's even an adult shop up there looking at the signs. I've only just noticed that. Um, you've got a mini casino, Chinese buffet up there. So, you'll get, guys, if you fancy something to eat, you can come here. Loads of little shops and supermarkets and casinos. And well, It's not a casino, it's just more like an arcade room, really. And you find them dotted around everywhere. So, let's move on, guys. The hotel last yesterday is just to the left of us. you got a nice little shaded area to sit if you've just been shopping or you're just having a bit of a mooch about so we come to the golden mall this is the golden mall it actually goes that way and to the left hand side of the la siesta hotel which takes you to the safari center and then if you come right he said it's up to a decky area so we're gonna have a walk up here and show you what's about So guys, let me just let you know as well, it is actually New Year's Day that this is being film, filmed on. We came out here from uh, just before Christmas and just after New Year's, Year's Day. We come out for the Christmas period and it's been absolutely fantastic. The weather has been absolutely awesome. 30 degrees, 31 degrees. It's gorgeous out here, guys. It's not been a cloud in the sky for the last 10 days. Um, but because it is New Year's Day that it's been filmed on, just bear in mind that there's going to be some places either closed for the day or closed for part of the day. So the first restaurant you come to, if you're heading left outside of La Siesta, is Dado's. And I'm going to give you a quick scan through their menu so you can see the prices. Just pause the video if you want to have a look. There you are, guys. And you've also got sugar and spice Sugar and spicy. I've heard that this is actually supposed to be a nice restaurant to eat at as well. Let's scan you through their menus quickly. Just pause it at your own free will. If there's anything you want to look at there. And then you've got the children's menus as well. There you are, guys, let's move on. Opposite, you've got Daniel's Cocktail Bar. Uh, Los Angeles, which is a shop, I think it's shut. I can't actually see what that is. It's what? Restaurant. Oh, it's a, sorry, it's a, it's, a rec it's a restaurant, it's a steakhouse. How did I miss that? And then you have a pizzeria. You have an excursions place as well next to Sugar and Spicy. You can book your day trips. On your left hand side, we have Cocktail Patch. Yes, guys, Cocktail Patch is just over the road. And if you walk down there, you can get to the front. On the right hand side, you've got some more shops. You've got Sunglass City. And then you've got another one of these places that sells pretty much everything. Um, tobacco, perfumes. And then if we look to the left hand side, you've got Garlic Corner. Good Irish bar. And then you have the H10 Las Palmeiras. 
So guys, as you just come out of the hotel to the right hand side, yeah, the right hand side, I have to think about that then, you've got the garlic corner bars, which consists of the Dubliner, which is downstairs. Fantastic bar. Not too busy at the minute. This is being filmed on New Year's Day. So some of these places are going to be shut. And then you, out the road, you've got Cocktails Patch. Nice cocktail bar and steakhouse and pizza here. And then if you head down to the right hand side, it takes you down to the front. Which you can then either head towards a decade to the right and Los Cristianos to the left. Right opposite the hotel, you've got a, like a, a shop that does like tobaccos and perfumes and sunglasses, etc. And then you've got Sunglass City, which is a big sunglasses shop. And HD Park, Christabel, Tenerife. And if you head left outside of the hotel, you've got a boutique right next door. And you have what is the fantastic Railway Tavern. So guys, this is the Railway Tavern. We've drunk in here many times. Absolutely superb little bar. Really friendly. And then you've got the Palms Chip Shop next door. Now, it is New Year's Day, guys, and the Palms Chip Shop's not actually open. I don't know if it does actually open a bit later on in the evening. Hopefully it does, because I do actually fancy fish and chips. And this is one of the best fish and chip shops you'll get in Tenerife. And then you have the bell. Another great little bar. We've drunk in there a few times as well. Yeah, so the bell, guys, it's a family bar. It's, uh, it does all live sport and karaoke. Shows all the football matches and everything. Let's carry on to what's down there. You've got another little mini supermarket that does all your little trinkets and souvenirs. And mainly just brought your sunglasses and your all the sort of junky stuff that you buy on your holidays that you don't really need but you buy it anyway and guys you've got another little uh, I don't know what to call these sort of shops to be honest with you souvenir shops they do pretty much everything belts, hats, dolls, toys everything you could think of is in there bags so we're going to keep heading down here you got loads and loads of these little souvenir shops selling pretty much everything including your fridge magnets as well yes you guys I did actually promise I did actually put a, a bit of a notice out that when the channel hits 2,000 subscribers whoever was a 2,000 subscriber would actually win a little something from Tenerife and I just bought some free fridge magnets come on Guys, you have Las Roses restaurant as well, and then we come back onto the main road. We'll show you their menus as well. So, main course at 10.95. Oh, sorry, it's actually a, a special three course meal for 10.95 by looks of that. They do a small full English breakfast for three euros 95. That must be an absolute bargain. And then a chicken burger, homemade, four ninety five. Oh, a king prawn salad with potatoes. Yeah. There's a little alleyway that takes you down towards the front, the beach. Well, it's not actually a beach. Um, the closest beach, guys. The closest beach to your hotel will be the one at the back of the Nostrum Resort, uh, the Cleopatra Hotel. And the easiest way to get there is if you turn right out of your hotel, head towards the Golden Mile, and then once you get to the Nostrum Resort, um, which is basically the Hard Rock Cafe, take a right there and you'll come straight onto the beach. That's the, that's the nearest beach to your hotel. Or you can walk down towards the decky where you've got the three black sand beaches. But the one at the back of the Nostrum is actually gold sand. It's a lovely little beach, guys. Um, Walking time to that beach, I'll say, it's going to 15 minutes tops. So guys, we've got another little bar here. 
There you are, guys. You've got PJs, cocktails and drinks and show bar. And then you've got a tattoo shop, which is uh, right next to it. And if you look over the road here, you've got Mr. Miyagi's Chinese restaurants, uh, Wakanda. And then you've got a bank. And then we are, guys, we've also got the station for the Wally train, which is actually here now. And this will take you around the resort. Save your legs from walking. There we are, guys. There's the Wally train just leaving now. For a tour of Playa de las Americas. Goes all around the Golden Mile and all towards the deck here as well. And it cost nine euros each. And then you've got some nice little corner bars and restaurants and a little supermarket as well. Romantico, let's go and have a look at their prices, guys. So, restaurant Romantico, let's have a look at the prices. Let's have another quick scan through there and pause it if you need to. So guys, that was a little bit of a walk about the, the local area around the La Siesta Hotel. If you're thinking of stopping there, it looks a lovely hotel. I don't know what it's like inside because I've not been in there, but this is what's around it. So give me the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.